All right, this is another print happening uh, right now. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's two of the lead screw shafts. Uh, the reason there are two is because the one on the right is for an extension of the one on the left. And you can see it's coming to a close here. I want to show real quick uh, that the, the bed is not heated. It's not required to heat the bed when printing PLA and printing in this fashion. I know people say, well, geez, you know, tape, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, I use this method all the time. I've, I've printed well over 3,500 STL files with a printer set up in this fashion. You can see here, it's about five and a half inches tall, right here, coming to a close. And the spool is way up here. Okay, I mount my filament on the left side, not way up here, so that I don't have to print any arms, levers, gizmos, gadgets, pulleys, to redirect the filament, when when it's sitting here, all the way up here, another, another good five inches up, at least, and still has clearance, the filament goes straight in, straight out the extruder. You can see for yourself, that's not a metal aftermarket extruder. That's the plastic body right there, because it still works. If that lever or arm ever cracks for whatever reason, just buy a new arm. It's like five bucks. You know, it takes like a few minutes to change out. You just remove that one little screw there, change it out, and start printing. You don't have to recalibrate, readjust, do any E-step changes, do any gear change, do nothing. You know, if you look at past posts, all you see is people having issues that this extruder will never have. If it's just that one issue you're afraid of, just get a new arm before you even use the printer. A new arm has never been installed, never been under stress. Change it out right before you even start the printer and you're good. I'm sure you'll be okay even if you use the original one that came out of the box, but you know, that, that's your choice. This is the original Bowden tube. That's not a blue tube. Not required. This is the uh, uh, hot end, the original hot end. No aftermarket fans or, or weird changes to the hot end because all you need is filament delivery through the hot end, through the nozzle, and down to the table. All right, that's it. And I just want to show re real quick too, right here, there's no stringing, right here. Okay, you can see for yourself, no stringing. Right here, I'm not making this up. Again, it's coming to a close now. It's on the last rod right there and uh, we should be done here shortly also wanted to show the springs those are stock springs they're not aftermarket yellow ones or or chunks of rubber or anything like that if these are installed properly and you have a, uh, a proper print surface as I do here you don't even have to heat the bed and I want to show that again the set point is zero right there uh, non-heated bed not required no messy glue all here you can see it for yourself no brim you can see it for yourself and again this is how i print this is what works for me and it has for four and a half years over 3500 stl files printed and now there's two more so there you go so again not making this stuff up just showing it proof is in the doing as i always say uh, the facts are here and it's printing now as you see it all right i'm not hiding anything i'm not blocking anything this is printing as you see it and of course the old school tramming tool a great piece of paper this is actually a six inch by two inch piece of paper right there uh, that's what i use uh, no reason to to go any chep uh, lines or squares or circles or whatever the hell because you have to remove all that stuff before you even start a print. So just know and, 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 and uh, master your tramming skills, okay? Have your bed set up properly. And I only have to tram here, 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 and there. Not way out here. I'm not printing out here. The printer's not coming out here at all. It's printing right there. 
So it keeps tramming down to a minimum. You can see that it works. It's working now. That's it. Okay. So I don't know what else to say. E-steps. Let me throw that in there. E-steps are still at 93, which came uh, as a factory setting. So this is this is the, the printer that works. This is the workhorse right here. Standard, you know, no frills, nothing added that, that is in the way or could cause problems. And this keeps troubleshooting down to a minimum. You have the one, two, three of printing. That's it. Nothing between here, no direct drive required. Again, this is just PLA. Uh, I've done PET, P, T, PETG as well. No problems. There it is. Before your eyes. Magic. Alright, happy printing.